Hi and welcome back. I got a comment the other day wondering how come my layout table that you know you see occasionally in my videos wasn't part of my shop tour uh, video that I did a little while ago. Um, well, truth is it kind of was. So as you can see, I'm standing by my anvil. This is actually the legs to my layout table, and all I've done is I've taken a piece of plywood. And I've mounted a peg on the bottom, which is the same size as my hardy hole. So now when I need a work surface, I don't have to have uh, an area set aside in the shop for a work table. I just put it into my anvil. So there you have it. And quite often I'll be showing you a shot from the top or the side or whatever, but more often than not, this is what I'm working on. It's, it's fairly solid, it moves around a little bit, but that doesn't matter just for laying stuff out. And uh, it's quick and easy, I just set it off to the side when I'm done using it. And more importantly, this table doesn't get loaded up with crap when I'm not using it. So I set it up, do what I have to do, and of course I have to take it down right away because I need to get back to using my anvil. So this thing's always cleaned off uh, any time I want to use it. I apologize, I didn't think of it while I was doing my tour, but uh, that's just another way that I get around not having a lot of space here. So, The reason that I didn't build this into my anvil stand system is because that would have meant adding on another cumbersome leg sticking out the bottom of this thing. I already have systems that this can fit into, so I wasn't worried about that if I needed to bring it outside or whatever. So right now this just stores like a flat board, it fits into my anvil, it'll fit into my CNC anvil system if I need to use it with that. So I have options, I don't need the extra leg, so I didn't bother to uh, build that into this. I just kept it simple with a uh, simple peg off the bottom and that made it as versatile as possible and still being able to store it in the minimum amount of space. Because in a small space, if it doesn't set up quickly and it isn't easy to store, it just doesn't get used. And this gets used a lot, so I want it to be as quick and easy as possible. Eventually I'm going to mount a metal plate here that has a hole that's the same size as my anvil hardy hole. And what I'll be able to do at that point is take my anvil mounted vise and uh, be able to insert it at the end of this table. So if I have this table set up and I need a low vise uh, to be able to demonstrate something or to show you something, I don't have to take the thing off, put the vise in, put it back in, so it'll be uh, a little bit easier. So you'll see that coming up uh, at some future time in a video uh, and uh, basically it's again it's uh, this table that's just being repurposed. So that's basically my uh, layout table. Nothing more complicated than that. It's just another way of sticking more stuff into a small shop. Hi, I'm Dennis, and thanks for watching. If you're interested in supporting this channel, the simplest way, of course, is to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have questions and you want to contact me directly, you can do so by emailing me at either one of the addresses that I have listed here. It may take me a couple of days, but I will get back to you. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.